Hi guys, this is module 6, lesson 19. Today we will keep learning about even and odd numbers. Hoy vamos a continuar aprendiendo sobre números par y impar. So, um, yesterday we learned that an even number is a number that can be split into two equal groups and any number that ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in the ones place. Okay, so un número par se puede quebrar en dos grupos iguales y termina en 0, 2, 4, 6, o 8 en el lugar de las unidades. Okay, guys, so for example, if I have 0 here, um, 0, well, you can't really split it up into anything, but if I have 10, I can split 10 up into two equal groups of 5. Okay, 10 lo puedes quebrar a dos grupos Igual es de 5. Ok, 2. I can split that up into 2 equal groups of 1. Because 1 plus 1 is 2. El 2 lo puedes quebrar a grupos iguales de 1. Porque 1 más 1 es 2. 4. I can split up into 2 equal groups of 2. Because I can add 2 plus 2 is 4. Ok. 6. I can add 2 equal groups of 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. And 8, I can add two equal groups of 4, because 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay, so all of these numbers are even. But what happens to the other numbers? So in between 0 and 2 is 1. Well, 1, I add 0 and 1 to get 1. And these are not equal groups, so 1 is not even. 1 is called odd, okay? Numbers that are not even are called odd. Already, so los números que no son par, como estos de acá arriba, son, se llaman impar en español. Impar, porque no tienen grupos iguales. El 1 solo suma 0 y 1 y no son grupos iguales. Okay, what about the number 3, guys? 3, you add 2 and 1 together. That's not an even number. That's odd because 2 and 1 are not equal groups. El 3 es impar porque 2 y 1 no son grupos iguales. Okay, then we have 5. And 5, you can add 4 and 1. Those are not equal groups. Or you could add 3 and 2. Those are not equal groups. So, 5 is not even. It's called odd Dos, I mean, el número 5 es impar porque cuando sumas dos grupos, tus grupos no son iguales. 3 y 2 no son iguales. Um, y 4 y 1 tampoco eran iguales. And 7. 7, you could add 6 and 1. That's, those are not equal groups. You could add 5 and 2. Those are not equal groups. You could add 3 and 4. Those are not equal groups. And you can add 0 and 7. Those are not equal groups. So 7 is also odd. 7 también es impar. And 9, okay, 9 you could add 8 and 1. Those are not equal groups. 7 and 2, those are not equal groups. Um, 6 and 3, those are not equal groups. 5... And 4, those are not equal groups. And 0 and 9, those are not equal groups. So 9 is also odd. It's an odd number. 9 también es impar, porque cual, cuando vas a sumar dos números, nunca vas a sumar números iguales. So guys, anytime your number ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, your number is even when it has those numbers in the ones place. But... When it has a 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9 in the ones place, it's going to be an odd number. So cuando tus números terminen con 0, 2, 4, 6, o 8 en el lugar de las unidades es par. Y cuando termina en 1, 3, 5, 7, y 9 es impar. Okay? So let's do some practice, guys. The question here says, are these numbers even or odd? And how do you know? So, we're going to do some writing. I'm going to give you a number, and you're going to say the number. 
is even or if it's odd. So you're going to circle even or you're going to circle odd because, and we have to write our explanation, okay? So la pregunta aquí dice, ¿estos números son par o impar? ¿Y cómo sabes? Entonces aquí va, vamos a poner el número, es par o impar, y vas a circular si es par o si es impar. ¿Por qué? Y aquí vas a poner la razón por qué es par o impar. Ok, so let's practice. Um, let's start with a small number. So I'm going to start with the number 8. Ok, so 8, el 8, is it even or odd? Well, we just learned that if a number ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in the ones place, it's always going to be even. But yesterday, we also learned another way, is if you draw your number into two rows, if you have an even number of rows, it's you can you know that your number is even. So let's try that out. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my number eight is even because you have equal rows of four. There's four in the top row and four in the bottom row. Okay. Um, so you could say eight is even because there are, so eight is even because there are eight in the ones place, in the ones place, or you could say eight is even because there are, there are two equal rows. Okay, guys, so mi número ocho es par y puedes decir porque hay ocho en las unidades. Hay ocho en las unidades. O, si haces tu dibujo como ayer, en la acá arriba, que dibujas tus filas, puedes decir que ocho es par porque las filas son iguales. Okay, y eso es todo. Alrighty, guys. What about when I have a bigger number? Okay, so what if I have my number is um, 92. So is 92 even or odd? El número 92 es par o impar. Well, if you look at your ones place here, there's a 2 in the ones place, and I'm going to look at right down here, and I know that 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 in the ones place make my number even. So, I'm going to write 92 is even, because, and you could draw 92 squares, guys, but just the easiest way to look at it is just looking at your ones place. So, because there's 2 in the ones place, 2 in the ones place okay so el 92 podrías dibujar 92 cuadros en tu conjunto pero eso te tomaría mucho tiempo pero aquí acabamos de ver que el 2 en las unidades quiere decir que tu número es par así es que el 92 es par porque hay 2 en las unidades Okay, yes, was todo. Alrighty, um, let's try another one, guys. What if I said the number sixty-three? Okay, the numero sesenta y tres. So I'm gonna fill in my blank here. Sixty-three. Is it even or odd? Hmm. So I'm gonna look at my ones place. Okay, and there's three in the ones place. Three is not one of my numbers down here that makes my number even. So I'm going to say 63 is odd. Okay, because three is an even number. Is an even number. Or you can say because... 
there are three ones. Okay, guys, remember you're always looking at the ones place. All right, so mi número 63 es impar porque hay tres unidades. Y el número 3 no está en mi lista de acá abajo que hace mis números par, así es que 63 es impar. But maybe you're going to say, wait, Miss Mora, there's a 6 right here, and there's a 6 on my list down here, so I think 63 is even. Okay, and this is where I'm going to let you guys know that you are not looking at the tenths place, okay? There's 6 in the tenths place, and yes, 6 is an even number, but the number in the tenths place doesn't matter right now. Okay, you're only looking at the number in the ones place. Alrighty? So, lo mejor vas a decir, espera, yo veo que hay un 6 acá arriba en mi número, y 6 está acá abajo en la lista de números pares. Pero ahorita no estás fijándote en el 6 porque en el, el 6 está en el lugar de las decenas y solo vas a enfocar en el número que está en las unidades. Ok. So, try this one out, guys. This one you're going to do by yourself. Alrighty. So, pause the video. Oh, I'm going to fix this one down here. Pause the video and your number to try is... 76. So fill in the blanks. 76 is even or odd because, and tell me how you know. Pause the video and then come back when you're done. Alrighty? So aquí dice 66 es par o impar. Y me vas a decir por qué. Pausa la video y cuando termines de escribirlo, regresas para revisar tu trabajo. Okay? So I'm going to write my number down here 76 is and hopefully you looked at the ones place six is an even number so 76 is even because there are six ones okay 76 is par porque hay seis unidades okay y aquí está mi seis Siempre estos números van a ser pares. Okay? So, for your exit ticket, guys, you're going to do this in your notebook and take a picture to submit on Class Dojo. So, fill in the blanks. All right? Your number is 28. You're going to write 28 is, and you only need to write even or odd, because, and make sure you fill in this blank. You're going to tell me why you know 28 is even or why it's odd. All righty? So, vas a resolver esto en tu cuaderno y le, to le tomas una foto y lo entregas en Class Dojo. So, vas a terminar la oración. Dice 28 es, y vas a escribir si es par o impar, porque, y llenas aquí tu oración. So, yo debo de ver esto completo en tu cuaderno. 28 es par o impar, porque, y aquí vas a escribir por qué. Ok, le tomas foto y lo entregas en Class Dojo. Alrighty guys, I'm excited to see your work. See you tomorrow.